All right, welcome back to Pharmacist on Call. Your host, Dr. Sean Pruitt, your community pharmacist. Your doctors are busy, your pharmacists are busy. They don't have time for this hour. I do. So call in with those questions and those comments. We're going to get right back into your calls. But before that, I want to make an announcement. Uh, speaking of the CBD and the hemp, you all have, uh, you know, come in and asked me for a certain product. We have it in now. So let me let you know that we do now have the hemp blunts, the smokable hemp cigar, and we now have the hemp flour in a variety of uh, different flavors and concentrations. Uh, these are full spectrum hemp, uh, not marijuana, as some of you are probably thinking. So you will not get the high that you're seeking if uh, you're looking to buy marijuana, but you will get the pain relief, uh, the chill, the anxiety relief, the, the, the relief from depression, the PTSD, the lupus, the MS, all of that. Uh, but for those of you who prefer smokable form, I've gotten reviews that say that it does uh, take effect quicker and the effect is more dramatic than the oil. Uh, so we now have the smokable uh, hemp flower in. But with that said, we're going to get into your questions right now. So, who we got first? Debbie, welcome to Pharmacist on Call. I mean, we help you. Yes, sir. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Thank you for taking my call, sir. Yes, ma'am. I take the chemo pill, Jack of sir. Okay. Should I take any kind of quote unquote diet tablet that has uh, caffeine in it? And if I do take that, should I take it like several hours separate from my jack of Okay, explain to me one more time. Now, and I haven't heard of the uh, the chemo drug you're talking about. You wanted to take okay, a caffeine it's, product? It's, it, well, it's jack of is, is my chemo tablet. Mm -hmm. It's for, uh -huh, and I just wonder if it's safe for me to take any kind of, of it, like I said, quote unquote, it's supposed to be, you know, to give you energy because of the, the tablet does make me a little anemic. And okay. I was just wondering if it's, you would care, consider that such, since it is a chemo tablet, to take any kind of diet product. So you're looking for the energy? Have you, yes, sir. Are you on any iron supplements? No, sir. I'm actually allergic to iron. Oh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> uh, then uh, I would think ginseng would be okay as a natural source of energy and probably even green okay. tea. Uh, the only issue okay. may that is probably speeding up your metabolism of uh, the chemo drug, but uh -huh. that's only a guess. But those are, are safe and natural sources of energy. Okay, well listen, I do mm -hmm. appreciate your time sir, and I thank you for taking my call. Y yes ma'am, you're welcome. All, All right. right, thank All you right. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. All right, we've got Rusty. Welcome to Pharmacist on Call. I mean, we help you. Yes, Dr. Pruitt, I was just wondering, is there anything that I could take to help my macular degeneration? I would think uh, there's something called um, uh, eye caps with lutein, so it's an, an eye vitamin. Uh, so with lutein and maybe mm -hmm. vitamin A, and then I probably recommend the hemp oil uh, since it has effects, especially on intraocular pressure in the eye. Mm -hmm. So you may find that it's beneficial as well. <coughs> okay. All right. Well, I may Excuse come to store one of these days and get some. Yes, ma'am. In fact, I've got uh, one gentleman. He told me he uses it. Uh, he applies it actually to his eye. Well, this gentleman, well, he has glaucoma. Oh, really? mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, a little braver than I, I w would be, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I thank you for that information. Yes, I can hopefully get there too. If this weather is not going to come in like they say it's coming in tonight. <laughs> so. Who knows with Nashville? Well, you have a good evening. Yes, ma'am. You too. Thank you. All Bye. right. Bye-bye. Okay, let's see. Cole, welcome to Pharmacist on Call. How may we help you? Yes. I take like Cinepril for hypertension, okay. and last Saturday I got an email saying lisinopril was the number one bad drug. What could I take instead of lisinopril that would not cause me nausea, vomiting, or kidney problems? Uh, so let's look at, if you're on lisinopril, chances are that you may be diabetic, and the doctor is also trying to prevent further kidney damage. So you could go to something like, uh, well, one of the troubled drug classes, the Losartan, uh, Valsartan, uh, one of those drugs, those will potentially help you. Uh, 
to uh, to maintain your kidney function, but also to reduce your blood pressure. So what's the issue with that? I'm pretty diabetic, but I'm not diabetic. Okay. And I uh, maintain low sodium foods. Okay. Okay. Well, it looks like your doctor's just being proactive in it and trying to prevent anything from happening to the kidneys. Uh, so you could go that route. I'm thinking actually probably be your best bet is the, the angiotensin two class. Uh, if mm -hmm. that is the case that he's worried about diabetes coming down the road and if he noticed something with your kidney function whether there was a decline you know in uh, some of your numbers there okay thanks mm -hmm. all right you're welcome now that's just me guessing uh, sometimes you all will give me some information that's just based on the little information that I know so I'm not going to pretend to uh to, to have all the information that your physician does, but just from what you provide me, you know, I'll give you my best guess. All right, let's see. Nancy, welcome to Pharmacist on Call. How may we help you? Uh, hi. Hi. Thank you for taking my call. Listen, I just had kidney stone surgery. Okay. I am taking a lot of vitamins like B, C, D, E. Do you think any of those vitamins could have caused my kidney stone? You take an extra calcium? No, no, I don't take any calcium at all. Okay. I'll take A, I'll take B, C, D, E, well, a little bit of C. <sighs> Maybe the C, but nothing sticks out. Okay. Yeah, but try, uh, try apple cider vinegar to help, you know, prevent those all together. Okay. And then so alkaline should, water as well. Yeah, I do that. So mm -hmm. I still should take my vitamins? Uh, I think they're, yeah, I think you're going to absolutely need them. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome. Bye-bye. All righty, bye-bye. Let's see. Welcome to Pharmacist on Call. I mean, we help you. Maria? Yes, Maria. Hello? Hey. Hola. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm Puerto Rican, so my English is not so good. I'm going to ask you something, silly, doctor. Yep. My right leg swell up a, a little bit every morning it don't hurt but it swell up is that very serious i'm 74. what part of your leg swells up is it the ankle or the, the knees? bottom part no no not the knees the bottom way way in the bottom oh the ankle yeah from the ankle down to the end is it both of them or just one no this one my right leg Sometimes I can't even put my shoes on for about a couple hours so the swelling went down. Okay. Is that serious? Because, see, I'm 74, but I've never been in a doctor in my whole life. Okay. So well, that, that's amazing being 74. Uh, so the first thing that makes me come to mind, so that is edema. Uh, the first thing I'm thinking about is potentially uh, heart failure. So you're not on any blood, blood pressure medication or anything? No. No fluid pills? <laughs> I'd probably uh, go to the doctor and let them take a look at your heart because if everything is not circulating properly, then you can't accumulate uh, fluid, uh, you know, uh, pedal edema in the feet area. Okay. Well, now that you're a doctor, so you open my eyes. Thank you and God bless you. Yes, ma'am. You're welcome. All right. Goodbye. I appreciate your energy, Maria. Yeah, your English is, is no worse than my Spanish. All right, so let's get into Kim. Welcome to Pharmacist on Call. May I help you? Hello? Hello, Kim? Yes. How are you doing? I'm doing good, and you? Oh, I'm pretty good. I have a, a, a question pertaining to the joint. Yes, ma'am. Uh, last June, I had a torn meniscus repair okay and i'm still uh at this point i'm still having some uh issues with uh inflammation and uh i was just uh wanting to know uh well last week i had to go in to get a a, a cortisone shot yes ma'am but i'm still having um problems with inflammation and i was calling to see if you could um recommend something that I could take as far as um, some type of vitamin or some kind of cream to, you know, for me to put on my leg. 
Uh, good question. Actually, I would recommend uh, the Pharmacist Blend Hemp Lotion. And I, I sample this at the pharmacy freely because I know once you try it, you're going to buy it. So viewers, okay. if you're in the area, make sure you come by for a sample of this stuff. It works and it works quickly. Uh, so okay. this, uh, just a little bitty squirt, a pea-sized squirt will take care of that knee pain. I'd probably okay. also want to help with your inflammation, uh, probably turmeric is what okay. I would suggest as well, just to kind of help prevent the did inflammation sell, part. Do you sell that too? Yes, ma'am, we sell both. Okay, and so you're located off of uh, Dickerson Pike? Yes, ma'am, yeah, we're about a mile okay. and a half from Titan Stadium. Okay, so when I come in, I need to uh, ask for, you said hemp oil? Yeah, yeah, the hemp lotion. Hemp, hemp lotion, mm -hmm. okay, well thank you so much. Yes, ma'am, all right, thank you. Okay. All, bye -bye. all right. Bye-bye. All right. Looks like we're up on another break and we got one caller. You guys stay right there. We'll be right back.